What's going on guys? So today I am going to officially announce my project I've been working on for about over a year now, on and off. It is a 1971 240Z um, Series 1. So I'll go over what I've done to it so far, um, my plans for the future, and uh, kind of give you some in-depth how-tos on a lot of metal work and auto body. Um, in this series. So appreciate you checking out my channel once again. Uh, I do apologize that I haven't uploaded. I've been sick for a couple days now, started a new job, all that. So I'm still sounding a little off and muffled. Um, it's because I'm sick. So, so just a quick backstory on how I got this car. Um, you know, I, my last, I went to pharmacy school at Ohio State. So my last year we do rotations. Uh, there's a new rotation every month. And uh, I always try to like, you know, if there's a Pharmacist that, you know, is a guy that's kind of into cars and everything. We always talk about cars on rotation. That's just something that we have mutual, uh, you know, likes and everything just to break the ice to the, my new preceptor. Um, the one guy actually, I was like, you know, I always wanted a 240Z, um, even a two, 260 or 280 I would take. Um, I knew they were starting to go up in value even a couple years ago, um, even more than they just did within the past year. They just went up in price like crazy. So I'm glad I got this. But anyway, back to the story. Um, so he's like, yeah, you know, actually my friend uh, has a car that's a 240Z and he's like, it was a Series 1 or something. I'm like, ah, no way, he's not gonna have a Series 1 240Z sitting there, you know? And uh, I go to the guy's house, um, it's in, I think it was in Pickerington, um, just, you know, south of Columbus. And uh, lo and behold, um, he did have a Series 1 240Z and he just wanted to get rid of it. So um, I got it for under a grand, it was a basket case. Um, I shouldn't have actually probably restored the car right now. It doesn't look bad at all just because I have, I don't know how many, you know, hours of work and it's just ridiculous anymore how much work I have into this car. Um, but I'll try to post some pictures up. I took a couple pictures of what it looked like stock. But yeah, so I ended up getting that, and then I knew I would need a parts car because just the way that I saw it was sitting there was just absolute mess. So I knew I needed um, at least a 240 or 280 parts car just to start ripping the body panels off of that and going back and forth. So um, got another 240Z, um, didn't have a title, I don't know what was going on there with the parts car. So I got that for a few grand, um, plus it had the 2.8 liter engine in it. So I sold that, um, had the five speed already connected. It was, a, I think it was a, supposed to be a 73, I believe. But yeah, I had the five speed in it. Um, so I knew I wanted the five speed to actually do, a, have that extra year or two. So that worked out perfectly. I knew I could get my money back on it. So I jumped on that, um, brought the parts car back, um, shot back down to uh, Columbus, picked up um, the series one here that I have, and then started working on it. Um, started tearing it apart, everything, and. Um, I just decided I just want to start documenting the process and uh, just show you guys how much you know work goes into something like this and uh, give you tips and tricks along the way what I would do differently mistakes I made so here it is in all its rusted out glory um, I've had so much work put in this car already uh, it doesn't look like much right now from you know making the um, redneck rotisserie here which actually works super well I'll um, show you how I did that and everything too. Um, just stripping it down, I did all this myself. Um, it's with a power washer and some sand, so I have to soda blast a couple other things and everything still, so I'll be going over what I did with that too. So um, a lot of good tricks in the series that I've learned over the years. Uh, I put in use to this car. It's a ton of metal work. The floors are rotted out. Of course, when I got it, frame rails destroyed. Um, you know, just basically everything that can go wrong with this car is wrong. Even the um, rear strut tower bars, someone hacked up so much. So um, I have replacements for that. Um, let me see where one's at actually out in the other garage, but I'll have to show you that too. So I even have to replace that. I think they had coilovers in it. Um, is what the issue was that it looked like they were just cut them up like crazy. So I removed some of that. Um, the rear tub uh, for the spare tire was rotted out. 
Um, I also got a parts car that I chopped up, got all the spare parts. Um, so there's the tub of it over there. I have it all stripped down, ready to fit in. I uh, just been waiting on putting that in. Um, just figured I'd document all the you know process on video. Um, and then I'd, I still have some room to work in so I could, you know, do all the metal work, just stand right up through there. So that's why I didn't put that in yet. Um, the core support, of course, that was terrible too. Um, it looked like someone actually crunched uh, the hood together, like someone ran into a semi truck and smashed it. Uh, so that was crunched all down. Luckily, I'm in Ohio here, so, uh, you know, luckily I found someone that was in Pittsburgh that actually had a Series 1 core support. So that is what that is, this is my prized gem right here that I found only 40 minutes away. So thank God I found a series one core support that I could replace. Um, and then, you know, the dog legs, they're not too terrible, but I'm gonna replace it, do it right. This is all smashed in here. Um, and someone did something super dumb here. They decided to weld in a 280Z latch, I believe, and it had a 280Z door on it. So I'm just gonna replace this whole thing here with the, the parts car. Um, Kind of metal and everything and that's why i got all these here you know instead of spending 60 dollars a piece on just the dog leg i got you know 60 dollars a piece I, I had the whole thing so i can and they come with the lip on the side here um so i can metal work that into this so my plan is just to take all the spot welds out seam it into about right here because that's where it was all damaged at and then uh just save this lip peel it back, curl back over, but that'll be for another video. Um, I have all the VIN and numbers and stuff matching to this car. Um, so I don't know why someone, they took it out already and they welded this in. I don't know if that was just a, they had a 280Z door and they couldn't find a series one door, which was also very hard for me to find. I had to go to North Carolina to find a 240Z um, series one door. Uh, that was in halfway decent shape. So yeah, I'm kind of calling this build. Um, my one buddy of mine says, oh, you should name it Destination Z because of all these stupid parts I had to find from all over, you know, Eastern side of America. Um, so that's what this build series is gonna be calling. I'm gonna keep it all original as my plan. I have the original engine for it, uh, which I'll show you out in another garage. Uh, I do want to build um, the kind of 2.7 liter purist model. Um, by Robello, or I might take it to Dots and Spirit once I save up some money. Um, you know, just dump a bunch of money into the engine and have a nice graduation gift from uh, college to myself. So that's the plan for that. I want to keep it all original. I'll do some, probably do some coilovers on it, but I'm not going to cut into it and all that stupid stuff that they did before on this car. What else here? Maybe probably keep the stock control arms and all that. Keep, keep it all original um, that way. Just do sus some suspension. Um, definitely modify the engine as much, triple carbs, all that fun stuff that everyone seems to like. So this is what is really annoying to me here. Let me show you what they did here. So this is another stipulation I don't know what I'm going to do with. Look how terrible this is. They, this must have been rotted out and uh, yeah, stripped it all down. They just seamed something right over top. So here's the old and then they put it over the new. And that is just such a pain to replace. They went all the way down there, but they did a lot of work that just didn't do it right. So I'll probably have to replace that too. Um, I think this was off of a 280Z from what the guy sounded like he was telling me. He's like, oh yeah, we replaced the, you know, the drip pan or whatever for the windshield wiper um, reservoir and they didn't do a good job whatsoever. So that wasn't my work there. Um, I gotta think what I wanna do, but you could just see they, monkeyed up this like, terrible like look at these welds didn't even grind. this is after me trying to grind it down just to see what it would look like so I, I hate when people do it either don't do it or do it right um they seamed it up here so at least they didn't mess with this um too much these little um holes that you know the cover goes into you won't be able to see it but it's just bugging me like crazy that i didn't do it myself and they didn't do it right so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that part. Uh, I'll figure that out later when it comes time to do it. But I also noticed just mocking this up, um, the controls here for the, that blow the, the heat and everything like that. Um, I mounted it up and uh, 
it wasn't fitting right. And I figured it out because this was off when they seamed it in. So that's also something super annoying. Um, so I have to either, if I'm gonna keep this, I'd obviously fix up all the welds and everything. Make sure I took care of all the rust that they didn't seam seal any of it. But I gotta make sure I mock up before I get to even the paint stage, mock up all the heater controls, everything. Because if it's off even, you know, a couple millimeters, all the brackets can be thrown off. So what I did, um, I just made a bracket already for this. Um, so this is the, I slimmed down the bracket. So this was the original. You can see how much thicker it is um, compared to this one. But I don't know if I wanna be goofing around with that because this is how it's gotta go. It just wouldn't fit anymore. Um, as you can see, now it fits obviously because I slimmed the, the brackets down, took them all off. But I don't know if I wanna be messing around with that um, or just take this all apart and uh, do it right. So I gotta think about what I wanna do there. But yeah, it's a mix of 280Z parts kind of mixed in for the dash area. Let's see, I got all this metal worked in done. Here's what the floors look like now after they were all done. I gotta treat the surface rust and all that and prime the areas, but um, I got that pretty good in there. Same with the other side. But a lot of work, um, a lot more to go. Luckily the roof was fine. They didn't do the dumb sunroof on that. So I'm surprised I didn't have to do anything with the roof. Core support, that's gonna be a pain too. Um, but that was a ton of work taking all this old core support out and uh, not damaging it too much. I gotta fill in some holes, weld them all up. Gotta fix this side. It's all rusted through here, but I left these here just as a you know, point of reference. So when I put my other, my new one in, I still have these little ears here to line everything up and then make it straight. So um, the battery box, I still have to fix all that area. Another day I'll uh, flip it over, show you all the work underneath that I did on the car. Um, I gotta replace the frame rails still. They don't have any frame rails. I got all those um, stock replacement. Didn't wanna go bad dog frame rails because I want to keep it as original as I can um, just to have a little bit of fun with it just bumping up the power and then uh, just doing some coilovers to get the stance right yeah let me take you out and I'll, sh I'll show you the original engine what it looks like all yanked out and um, a couple other parts that I have in the other garage here uh, another thing I'm changing I have um, all the 280z um, rear diff and everything like that I don't know what the numbers are on them or the ratio or anything but um i do have all these parts for that too so i'll probably change the rear diff just get a little bit better um ratio out of that than the stock one and i it also came the parts car also came with a five speed so i will uh throw the five speed in i already put a uh the mounts for the transmission um so because you know it's series one a little side note which i didn't know Series one has a shortened drive shaft um, and the, you know, the longer transmission. So I had to uh, change the layout um, to do it correctly. I wanted just to put the 280Z um, mounts for the transmission in so I could run the five speed and all that stuff and uh, not have to screw around with that shortened stuff. So I already did that. I'll show you that when I flip over the car too. But here is the passenger door here. Um, it is rotted as well, but not too terrible. I'll have to strip that down, check it out. Um, but yeah, this has the correct hinges on it. And then I have, I bought so many stupid driver's side doors to try to figure out which one would be good. But this one is the one I got from North Carolina, or excuse me, Virginia, I went to get this one. Um, the only thing I gotta fix, this crack right here, but it only it stops right here, so that shouldn't be too bad. Just gotta take all these window regulators out and all that stuff. Um, here's the original engine, excuse the mess. So 
So here's the four speed that came out of the car. I left the um, harness and everything on the engine just so I remember where everything goes while I'm taking pictures easier. Original 2.4 liter engine for it with the carbs. This was actually, uh, it wasn't running when I got it, but you know, I rebuilt the carbs real fast just for fun and uh, started it up and it seemed like it ran okay to move back and forth. Another project here, 61 Corvette. You'll be seeing that on this channel too. So I do everything myself, all the fiberglass work and all that stuff. This was a ton of work as well. Uh, when I get sick of the 240Z, when it gets warmer, working on that, I'll jump back and forth to this. Also have a five window, 51 Chevy 3100 back there, pickup truck. Not gonna start that anytime soon until I get these two vehicles done. Uh, my dad has a Ford F1 here. Um, he's been working on, I've been helping him weld and all that stuff, getting the metal work done, but um, sidetracked here. Yeah, here's the, the dash. You can see the speedometer starts at 20. This is where the series one dash. Um, it's cracked. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that. It's only cracked in one spot, but I'll see if I can fix it myself if it looks close to this factory um, texture. If not, then I'll just have to buy a reproduction dash and transfer over everything. Um, another thing, here's the parts car that I have, the shock tower. You know, I still have a lot more. I gotta draw all these spot welds out to replace it. I got the driver's side in the other garage too. But So here's the hood I got from Kentucky. The stock one, like I said, seemed like he wrecked into something like a semi truck that crunched it. So all this was damaged. I couldn't even seem anything to repair it properly. So I figured, you know, go down to Kentucky, make a trip out of it and uh, get a new hood. So thank you for uh, Brandon for uh, kind of hooking me up on that hood. It's hard to find one of those. I have a 280Z uh, hatch, which it's in okay shape, nothing too great. But my uh, series one um, hatch with the vents, that is rotted out beyond repair because some stupid guy decided to put a spoiler with uh, Bondo in it and it just rotted away over from sitting. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. Um, so yeah, here's what you should never do is mold Bondo right into metal on top of fiberglass of duck belt spoiler because this will rot out beyond repair. And uh, it's separated at the seams on the other end here. So these two seams separated. So what my plan was for this, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. The vents and everything match up identical. They just don't have the holes on the 280Z. So I might cut this out, seam that in to the 280Z hatch that doesn't have any of these holes for the vents. Put the, the plastic uh, things behind it that shoot the fresh air up. Because everything in the back, I already measured everything like that. You're able to put those plastic vents in the back that reach up into here. So there's a hole on the bottom here. Um, there's a hole on there for the 280Z too. That vent matches right up as long as you weld the, the vents on, the vent openings correctly. So yeah, that was uh, kind of my thought process on that. If not, maybe I'll just uh, get a new one, but that's expensive. I'm trying to save as much money as I can. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions, comments, um, feel free to um, leave them below. And uh, the next video, this is kind of just an introduction video. The next video, I'm gonna actually be doing some work on it. Um, I don't know if I'll be working on the back half first or the front, probably do the front. Um, maybe start the core support on that, starting to clean that up. It just takes so much time to clean the stock parts up from the parts car cutter, but I still gotta do um, all the spot welds, take them all off on the stock one so it can match up to this. Then I gotta take all the parts off like this, the strut tower mounts, I gotta draw all those. So yeah, I gotta drill all these out here. Um, there's some on the inside, take this skin off. But yeah, it's just double the work, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, guys, thanks for uh, checking out this start of the official documentation of um, the 71 Series 1 240Z, and uh, uh, look forward to you in the uh, next video. And have a good rest of your week as always. Give me a like and um, subscribe if you found something that you liked. 
or uh, something helpful. Thanks.